welcome back everybody so i have seen a lot of things coming out um news articles especially saying how ridiculous it is uh to unlock the battle axe uh if you have cold war it honestly is a cakewalk compared to trying to do it in um war zone um Cold War, you want to do it in multiplayer, in my opinion. You don't want to do it in zombies. But yeah, um, let me break this down for you. Let's get into this. Okay, so if you were on Cold War, you will notice that your options are... Kill 10 Abominations with a primary melee weapon equipped. Uh, yeah, that's a hard no. As you can see, the gameplay in the background... Granted, I'm not pack-a-punched here or anything, but this is just trying to get this thing to the point where you can melee it. Anyways, the next option, which is the option I will show you here in a second, is the preferred option. Um, you have to get a lethal kill, a melee kill with a melee weapon, and a primary weapon kill in a single life so yeah that's where it turns a lot of people off in warzone but um in cold war especially on close quarters maps it is really easy especially with this loadout i'm about to drop in now okay so as you can see here you're going to want a reliable primary a secondary melee weapon that has a good reach so like a machete or um, wakazashi or baseball bat you are going to want danger close that way you have two flashbangs or stuns and two semtexes this is crucial you're also going to want flak jacket which negates um, a lot of explosive damage um, assassin so you can see who's shooting and where this helps a lot for the melee side of things and gung-ho So, I'm not going to lie, this challenge is going to be a little difficult. It took me about two days to um, complete mine. Um, but trying to do this in Warzone, or get your 10 Abomination kills with a primary melee weapon, yeah, no, just no. It's a lot easier to do in uh, multiplayer in Cold War with this loadout. Once I figured it out, I finished it uh, the second day. The first day, I didn't know what I was doing, so I was just kind of winging it. But yeah, no, it's still challenging, but... With all that being said, I just want to say thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And if you do enjoy my content, feel free to click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on it. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.